The whole, uh, the thrust of what I want to talk about today is assessment and a particular approach to assessment that I um, experimented with early on this year uh, with quite astounding results. Um, but I don't really want to start by talking about assessment because I think assessment is really um, uh, an answer to a question, uh, a solution to a problem. It's, it's what you do when you need to do something. And I want to talk about the big picture first. What's the question? What's the problem we're trying to solve? And then frame that in terms of um, the assessment rather than assessment for its own sake. Uh, so I'll be talking a lot and quite quickly. Um, and I thought I'd start with two stories, which I think, in a sense, uh, encapsulate what I want to say much better than all the words that, will, that I'll go on and on and on saying for a long time afterwards will. So um, the first story is um, a couple of years ago, maybe two years ago, maybe not even quite two years ago, I was on a farm with some friends and we were trying to round up some cattle. And there weren't many fences and there were a lot of cattle and they were wild beasts. And, um, and uh, we were waving our flags and hats and shouting and dancing and trying and we'd get three corralled and the rest would be there and we'd run over to get one one and they'd wander off and it was very difficult. And it took all day and we were very sweaty and we only managed to like corral about half of them. And then the next day my, uh, the people that lived next door laughed at us and <laughs> came across and just three blokes with motorbikes as opposed to a whole gang of us rounded them all up in about 20 minutes. Uh, and this wasn't because of the motorbikes. It, this was because they just sort of, I think, understood how the cows thought and knew how, when you needed to do effort and when not, and they stood in the right spot and anticipated if someone was standing here, the cows would see to move there. And by sort of effortlessly, without any effort at all, in about well, less, a very short period of time, certainly less than an hour, they'd rounded them all up. And I was really impressed. And I, I was thinking, this reminds me of when I was first teaching, when I first started teaching, trying to get the students to do things and you'd be looking after the smart ones and the ones that weren't motivated would wander off and you'd try and motivate the ones that weren't motivated and the, the really um, other ones would wander off. And you'd, it's very hard. I was rushing all over the place and really, really busy. And, and then I think over the years, as you become more experienced as a teacher, you learn little tricks and techniques and know which way the students will wander and what will scare them this way and that. And with less and less effort, you can sort of round them up into the direction you want to go. And the next day, I was um, driving back, and I spoke to the dad of these guys, this really old guy. And, and I said, uh, uh, your sons are awesome. You know, they rounded up them all in about like an hour or less. And he said, oh, they're hopeless. <laughs> and I said, what? He said, they're hopeless. They're a joke. And, and he said, I round them up with my game leg. He never gets out of his car because he's got a dodgy knee. And he's about 100. I round them all up with my game leg in the ute in about 10 minutes. I said, no, you don't. What's going on? And he said, oh, I'll show you. And he drove out in the ute and he drove into the paddock and he just beeped the horn, beep, beep. And then he just drove out of the paddock and all the cows followed him out. <laughs> and he said, all I do is every time I take, every time I drive onto the property, I beep the horn and throw out a bale of hay. And they associate the bale of hay with the sound of the beep. They love that beep and they'll just follow it anywhere. And now, for me, that's sort of what assessment is. Assessment is a beep, beep. So I say to the students, they're not paying attention, do this, it's worth 10%. Beep, beep. And they'll do it. And I've learned that little trick over the years. I don't have to do any work now to make them do things. I just have to say, oh, that's worth two marks. That's geometrically scaled with this. That's worth three marks. And they'll just do it. But my third level of realisation after thinking I'd become the world's most perfect teacher once I'd realised that, secret about assessment that I'm sure none of you have realised, was um, after a while I thought, but hang on. Students aren't cattle. <laughs> and maybe it's not the optimal solution to trick them, Pavlov-like, into doing what I want them to do. Maybe that's the whole model of, maybe, that, uh, maybe I've got the whole wrong model of the, what being a teacher and a student is about, our relationship. So that's the first story. And the second story is um, 